engaging over here on the side polar instead pu indeed pulling up that big wall about to come out a big pick of Fun spongy cheese onto gordo as polar throws out the wall but it's too little too late but it's actually not polar says as he's taking down peabock evening up trading the reinhardt's tie fighter getting demeked out of that process the point however still going the way of wisdom academy that percentage ticking up as the dps of rio redemption Finding the eliminations, Rockcraft's going to eliminate TIE Fighter, though, as Baby Diva goes down. An amplification matrix coming out, courtesy of Senile Apple, trying to see what he can do with that. A big self-destruct coming out from Rockcraft, finding him, though. The point still being held by Wisdom Academy. Real Redemption is doing what they can to push in, but is it going to be enough? We don't really see it working out. Gag dropping the sound barrier to keep his team up, and it's too little too late as Peabock falls down, followed not long after by Rockcraft's absolutely massive shatter coming down from Gordo, just annihilating the members of Wisdom Academy. Jesus, Senile Apple drops the amplification matrix. A self-destruct from Rockcraft doesn't find anyone, but a self-destruct from TIE Fighter finds Spongy Cheese as they begin to remix. Another Symmetra wall coming out from Polar, just cutting the point in half, giving his team so much much room to work with. Oh, Sergeant Pepper's isolated out from the other members of his team. As he does manage to find the pick on the polar, though. We're entering overtime. The timer is ticking down. Rio Redemption is still holding the point. They might be able to hold on to it and take the round. Rockcraft is putting up a valiant defense on point, flying around, using that natural cover. Spongy Cheese making it back to help out his tank, but it's not going to be enough as he gets team X. Taking down Spongy Cheese is RQT with that swap over onto Doofus. The Wisdom Academy is swapping to the quick stall characters to get back on point. Human reactions from Senile Apple dropping that immortality field. The sound barrier being dropped by Sam Knight sets up RQT's Blizzard as Gag drops his own sound barrier to keep his team alive. And it's going to be working out so far as Spongy Cheese and Skyler get eliminations. Rockcraft following up with that self destruct. Gordo being dropped by the Reaper. And here we go. They're rushing onto the point with this dive composition. Rockcraft sending TIE Fighter in. Awesome can help end out the fight. So shutting down not only TIE Fighter, but Polar is a big must. However, they're trapped. They're trapped, and Spongy Cheese sends out the Death Blossom, finding the Immortality Field and Senile Apple. Then following up on RQT, TIE Fighter just sending himself over the edge because he knows this fight is but lost. They don't really have a shield outside of the bubble, so once it's gone, the shatter's opened. Shield down, wall down, Spongy Cheese taking down TIE Fighter before the D-Mech. However, it does eliminate Rockcraft's mech, so we've got two Baby Divas in the mix. Scratch that, we have no Baby Divas in the mix as Gordo goes on a swinging frenzy, eliminating four of the members of Wisdom Academy. Gag managing to stop his rampage, but that is not going to stop them from taking the point as Sam Knight moves on to begin the capture process. For them. RQT throwing up that wall, forcing the members of Wisdom Academy out of a single choke point, letting the members of Rio just fish in a barrel. The blizzard comes down with an immortality field as the members of Wisdom Academy begin to fall. Spongy Cheese putting up a valiant effort, taking the elimination onto Polar, and then following up on Senile Apple. Gag dropping that sound barrier to keep his team in the fight. Spongy Cheese is doing what he can along with Sergeant Pepper. Sam Knight dropping the sound barrier of his own, and it allows Gordo to get the elimination onto Spongy Cheese. They are just swinging away right here. Rio Redemption in full control of this point. Peabox swapping onto the ball to get back and stall. Polar finding the mirror kill onto Sergeant Pepper. Peabox just rolling around trying to do everything that he can to send people into the drink. And a big self-destruct goes up from Rockcraft. Doesn't find any value, but it does manage to zone the members of Rio Redemption off of the point. We're now entering a full brawl. Nobody's really getting any picks here. And Polar finding Skylar, Rockcraft, demecking TIE Fighter. Gordo just squishing Spongy Cheese up against the wall. This is certainly the longest drawn out overtime fight I have seen since I have started here with League Zero. Gordo just asking the members of Wisdom Academy, would you like to see my muscles? As he just begins to swing through the team, finding elimination after elimination. And the point unlocks. Rio Redemption are going to be taking round one on Nepal. with an immortality field coming down from Senile Apple. TIE Fighter getting demeked in the process from Gag. Peabok throwing out that Earth Shatter and getting blocked by Gordo with that big shield. No eliminations being found until Spongy Cheese finds a TIE Fighter at the back. Senile Apple dropping that amplification matrix, but it's not going to work as the team is going to be pushed back through it. RQT throwing out that blizzard into the hallway, forcing the members of Wisdom out onto the point. Spongy Cheese managing to find Sam Knight, but the eliminations have put the match in full swing in favor of Rio Redemption. Oh, Sergeant Pepper just holding on, trying to get that ultimate. There it is. An immortality field coming down, saving Sergeant Pepper from Gag from Titanic as Gag drops the sound barrier. Rio Redemption are still trying to do what they can to capture the point. Big self-destruct from Rockcrafts as he answers against TIE Fighter and Polar's ultimates, both getting two. The Reinhardt stunning each other on point. And there goes Peabot getting down from RQT, the amplification matrix wearing off. Wisdom Academy is doing what they can to hold down. Is it going to work? The only members left from Real Redemption are the Reinhardt and the Baptiste. 
Gordo being dropped by Spongy Cheese right after TIE Fighter, and there goes Senile Apple and Wisdom Academy hold, allowing Gag to get the DMAC onto TIE Fighter. We're now in a little bit of a poke phase as both teams don't want to be in front of those windows, those damage boosts. Big wall coming down from both. Or, I'm sorry, Big Shatter rather coming down from both teams. Peebok not managing to find much, but Spongy Cheese still manages to get two picks. Allowing Wisdom Academy to hold on. Rockcraft throwing in a self-destruct is going to find anything. It is not. Polar finding two with the dead eye, but it does not work. Fight record time from those healers as it comes out. Forcing the members of Rio Redemption off the point, allowing Wisdom in to start ticking up some process. RQT deciding to play dress up and become a diva, doing what he can to get some damage out. Gordo falls, but Sam Knight picks him right back up, puts him back in the fight. Sergeant Pepper's turrets and Spongy Cheese putting in the work. Wisdom Academy getting the eliminations, but Rio Redemption answering right back as Gordo gets angry, very angry. That's his secret cap swinging around. RQT taking down Tebok and Sergeant Pepper as the Death Blossom comes out from Spongy Cheese and Gag drops the sound barrier trying to keep their team in this fight. Wisdom Academy have the numbers right now, but they are not being able to find the eliminations. And again, this seems to be a caster curse for me. I'm speaking too soon as Spongy Cheese's Rockcrafts find those eliminations. Oh, big self-destruct being thrown out from Rockcrafts, signaling the end of round two with Wisdom Academy tying us up at one to one. Not much that you can do at that point as the members of Rio Redemption get off of the bridge. Angry Monkey being thrown in, a double duplication coming out, both Echoes becoming the D.Va. Rockcraft throwing in the self-destruct, the Spongy Tees takes down Sam They don't realize the C9 by the way. But RQT, but there it is, the back cap, Polar, you're nasty. He's got those stealth boots on, sneak increase to 56. The eliminations are rolling through for Wisdom Academy, but it doesn't really mean much because the point's already been capped. The good spawn is right here. That Wisdom I... Academy throw, they threw a lot of ults in that last fight. So the ultimate economy here is in favor of Rio Redemption as Gordo takes out Rockcrafts of the mech. Sam Knight with that Valkyrie about to wear off. TIE Fighter finding the double kill onto the DPS and then getting the squish kill onto his clone of Rockcrafts. Rio Redemption is going to keep this point rolling along. d and RQT going to sleep. Wisdom Academy establishing a foothold on this point, doing what they can to hold on to it as TIE Fighter gets dropped from Rockcraft. Senile Apple throwing out the Nano onto Gordo as RQT and Senile Apple fall. Wisdom Academy having the members here to hold on to it. And it's just a matter of cleaning up right here as Peebok gets Nanoed to get... Polar, fully respect the D&D reference. I play Tieflings. Uh, but now we see them go in. They have a bit more of an old economy and they touch this payload. So that Diva Bomb is falling. They're trying to do something cool. But Rockcraft doesn't get it out. Oh no, Rockcraft's going for the meme, trying to push the self-destruct off the ship, but it doesn't work, and it allows TIE Fighter to get the double kill onto him and Titanic. Spongy Cheese getting purpled as he throws out the pulse bomb, doesn't really find any value. Gag with a whip shot onto RQT, saying, this is a whip shot here for you, cowboy. Polar elimination, his evil twin. Overtime counter is ticking down. Wisdom Academy brawling in with that rally from Brigitte. Oh no, another self-destruct being thrown in from Next as Polar goes down. Next finding RQT, the members of Rio Redemption are going down. Sending out the Angry Monkey is Gordo, trying to get that extra health pool to stall out the point as long as he can. Oh, Spongy Cheese finding TIE Fighter though. Wisdom Academy is fully holding on. Rio, Rio Redemption rather currently has the man advantage, but the members of Wisdom Academy are making it back. Big brawl on point, no eliminations coming through until Gag finds Senile Apple and next finds Sam Knight with no supports on the side of Rio Redemption. It is our online Spongy Cheese eliminating Polar to give Wisdom Academy the man advantage in this fight. RQT, however, evening it back up with a six on six courtesy of Bob. TIE Fighter throwing in his self destruct. Doesn't find any value, but RQT does manage to find Titanic. Spongy Cheese says a support for support and eye for an eye as he hits that pulse bomb on Sam Knight. Gag throwing out that rally to give his team the armor that they need to survive. They're doing what they can to keep this part moving forward, and it does manage to keep going. Polar sticking Spongy Cheese, however, he is fast enough with his reflexes to blink away from his team, make sure he's the only elimination. As Gordo finds Peebok, Rio Redemption, they're winning the fight, they're getting the man advantage here. Stopping Wisdom Academy just short of capturing this first point. Yeah, I don't know what word to tell you oh. that isn't. That's a massive stagger, by the way. Because the issue really comes into next. They aren't really building up their ultimate fast enough, nor were they really staying into the fight. But someone has to touch, and it looks like it's going to be spongy. Overtime being triggered from Spongy Cheese. Adaptive Circuits engaged next, taking on Diva. Getting nanoed is Rockcraft's. However, Gag being dropped from the Pulse Bomb as he drops his Rally, that's an ultimate that Wisdom Academy is going to want back. Rockcraft's finding two as Next throws in the Self-Destruct. Wisdom Academy are getting the picks here. They might be able to push this in. They lose Titanic in the process, but honestly, the man advantage that they have over Rio Redemption is really showing right now. Sam Knight going down as the point unlocks. 
for Wisdom Academy. Next being dropped, but it's fine. His respawn is right there. Space. That payload is approaching the point. Are we going to make it? TIE Fighter going in, managing to touch it and contest as he throws in the self-destruct. He does find Rockcrafts after being dropped by Peebok. RQT coming in with the Doomfist. The stalls are coming out as the overtime counter, overtime counter begins. Spongy Cheese taking down RQT, showing off RQT's lactose intolerance. Wisdom Academy going to do what they can to fight as the rally comes out from Sam Knight, giving his team the armor to survive. Gag onto that Lucio being taken down from Polar. Pulse Bomb comes out, but it doesn't find any value as it gets stopped, blocked by the bubble. A lot of tickle fight coming down from here on the Winstons. Gordo managing to get next with that uh, arcing damage. TIE Fighter taking down Peebok. Rio Redemption making it look easy as they just drop the members of Wisdom Academy and holding it just shy and pushing themselves into the 2-1 lead. It was Polar who got his ultimate online first. Sergeant Pepper, however, decides to throw his out first, being answered by Polar's. The two walls running uh, mostly parallel, having a little bit of an intersect. An amplification matrix coming down from Titanic and trying to allow his team to get that extra damage output as Rockcraft takes down Sam Knight. That's going to have Wisdom Academy getting the man advantage. However, RQT throwing out the Blizzard and Rockcraft's answering with the self-destruct gag with the sound barrier to keep his team alive, but it's not going to be enough. Titanic taking down Gordo. Rio Redemption are getting the picks that they need to take the point. However, Sergeant Pepper saying, I'm not done here. Wisdom Academy might be able to hold on to this point. They certainly will be holding on to the point. Yep, there it is. Polar going over the edge into the drink, followed closely by Sam Knight. Gets ready. Here we go. Spongy Cheese saying, set your clocks, everybody. Here we go. Is he going to find anything with it? He does not. Gag dropping the sound barrier, getting his, his team many, many, many shields to let them engage. Wisdom Academy, however, just mopping the floor with Rio Redemption. RQT doesn't and Bob going to be coming online in this next fight. They have the ultimate economy to continue to hold on to this point and win these fights. But with RQT finding that early pick on the Sergeant Pepper, this push might already be over for Wisdom, but they are committing an amplification matrix coming down for Titanic, but no healing goes through it fast enough to keep Peebok up. Spongy Cheese manages to take down Polar, and Bob comes in courtesy of RQT, manages to get that extra point presence. Gag dropping the sound barrier to keep his team alive. Self-destruct going out from Rockcrafts. Does he get anything with the remake as Gag sends RQT over the edge? Deadeye coming out from Spongy Cheese doesn't find anything. Gag with another boop onto Sam Knight as the self-destruct from TIE Fighter takes down Gag. Spongy Cheese, however, still getting more eliminations. Demecking TIE Fighter and Mortality Field coming down from Senile Apple as they're about to knock him over the edge. And that's all it's going to be. We are going to a map five, ladies and gentlemen. Wisdom Academy are going to take Hanamura. Okay, so... Oh, I agree. It's time for these teams to bring it out. The Doomfist first initial punch will be the most important. And Sergeant Pepper, just like last time, getting that first pick with his Doomfist, sending Polar careening into the wall and then dropping his mirror of RQT saying, I am the better Doomfist. I am the world heavyweight champion. There we go. Wisdom Academy is just pushing back Rio Redemption immediately. They are going to be taking this first point and then want to be when there is a Doomfist on the other side. Amplification Matrix online for both teams as well as Earth Shatters. Gordo throws his out first, but he gets taken down as Rockcrafts manages to find one, two, one pick after another. Sergeant Pepper squishing Polar with Meteor Strike coming through. Doesn't find any value though, but he doesn't need to because the rest of the team Pepper just seems to be on fire. This window's going to be massive though. Big wall coming out from Spongy Cheese managing to shut the push down just a little bit here we go overtime is triggered thanks to tie fighter getting onto the point the picks however wisdom academy managing to just roll down the members that got left behind and that is going to be it self-destruct being thrown out from tie fighter to try and buy some extra time but it's i can't say this enough it's not going to be enough he gets demexed manages to get taken down sergeant pepper somebody needs to test this man for performance enhancing drugs apple manages to push the members of wisdom academy back over titanic comes online with his manages to throw it up but a massive shatter from peebok manages to find two picks for the side of rio redemption gordo managing to get eliminated in the process but rio redemption now have the man advantage here they are going to be able to win this fight yeah push their team onto the point to establish presence this was a small individual issue where b patch and his team didn't know where to bring themselves so they ended up splitting up they shut it down so polar is now going on to the symmetra however sergeant pepper now has a rip tire built that thing up like 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 swiss butter rock trap has the diva bomb they have so much room and already they're taking an immense amount of damage 
Here we go, the two explosive ults coming out from the side of Wisdom Academy. A sound barrier is not going to be enough to protect Senile Apple from that self-destruct. An absolutely beast of a tire managing to find three of the members of Real Redemption. Just like last time you and I were casting the self-destruct on the side of Real Redemption. A quick swap onto Doomfist from RQT. No! But Polar getting taken down early! Gordo's shield being taken down from those magic turrets. He tries to charge in to get to the point, but it doesn't work. It's Gag drops the sound barrier and Spongy Cheese throws down the wall. I was incorrect. We will not be going to a map three. Oh, and there it is. Overtime timer is ticking down a Spongy Cheese. Big Symmetra wall managing to hold things down. Peabok with eliminations on the side of Wisdom Academy. Rio Redemption is going to be swapping to the stall characters, but it is not going to get to the point in time. Wisdom Academy with an upset on Rio Redemption. This is no reverse sweep, but you might as well.